Hello everyone, it's Christine again, and welcome to one of those rare times you click on a YouTube video and actually learn something. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this video for like months, so here it is, I finally got my shit together. So your life usually goes something like this. You did a gorgeous hollow glitter mani, that's my cat's nail polish, the link is below, go buy it now. And now you're crying at the thought of scrubbing it off and or drying the fuck out of your nails and skin with acetone. Or maybe you're a swatcher and hate the idea of drying out your cuticles with nail polish remover in between every single nail polish you swatch. And those situations are exactly what a peel off base coat is for. Wow, I mean, inventions today, they basically save lives. So I'm gonna test out eight different peel off base coat solutions, so they're called, and evaluate them on four different indicators. Cause I'm a data nerd. Application. Which ones apply like a dream, and which ones apply like shit? Drying time. Cause you don't got time to wait around, you wanna get right to painting your nails. Effectiveness of removal for swatchers after 30 minutes of wear. You'll see those results in my other video for swatchers because I had to split up the videos cause no one wants to watch an hour long YouTube video, hell no. Effectiveness of removal for a normal person. Meaning you're gonna wear the nail polish for at least a day. I wore it for 24 hours in this test, but really all we need to know here is how well does the polish come off after it had time to completely dry like as an over day. I didn't test out the lasting effects of the peel off base coats because then I would have had to cancel my YouTube videos for at least a month or so. So no. But not everyone wears glitter polish, right? And for that, I also tested each base coat for swatchers and normal people with a multi-chrome polish because a multi-chrome would really show lumpy and bumpiness if the base coat did cause that. That means I did a total of 32 separate experiments using my nails. You're welcome. My sacrifices are your knowledge gained. You're gonna see a crap ton of different products I use in this video, so as always, the links to everything I use are down below in the video description box, and that includes the eight different nail polishes I use and all the different peel off base things. To start this experiment, I am now naked. Yes, my naked nails are yellow, but no need to be concerned for my health, it's just stains for my addiction to nail polish. I don't really care that my nails are yellow, and neither should you. Watch my other video if you're still offended by the color of my nails, and now I'm moving on. First up, Orly One Night Stand. Things are getting slutty already. I can tell just by looking at it and smelling it that it's a glue-based peel-off base coat, which you'll see is very common for different peel-off base coats on the market today. I like the brush for this application because it's long and skinny and narrow, so that kind of helps with applying like messy glue shit. But overall, I really don't like applying glue-based stuff on my nails because it doesn't level out nicely and it just feels weird. <laughs> so Orly, you little slut, you get a 3 out of 5 for application. And of course, because it's glue based, it took forever to dry. I think it took like five or six minutes, and therefore it gets a three out of five for drying time. Ooh, pretty purple multi chrome, yeah. This is Fun Lacquer Reunion Blessing. I don't know, I can't remember one of them, but look at those colors, guys. Like, oh my god, look at it. Just a little bit of porn right here before we move on. I'm showing you the painting on of the nail polish stuff because I really want to test and see if wearing these peel off base coats is going to affect the look of the nail polish. Polish. Like, is it gonna make it bumpy or look shitty? No issues with this one, it looks perfectly smooth to me. Look, it's my cat's new hollow. Yes, that's right, this is Menchie the Cat, a baby pink 100% holographic glitter nail polish. You can find it at the link below. I'm so proud of my daughter. She also starred in her first porno. Okay, I'll stop and explain what I'm doing. So I always apply glitter nail polish with a latex-free makeup sponge because that is the best way to maximize glitter polish payoff. The sponge helps to absorb excess jelly, leaving all the glitters behind that go right on your nail. It's great. I forgot to mention I'm applying a glossy top coat after all of my test swatches because that's how most people, swatchers and normal people, wear their nail polish. Insert a quick footnote here to tell you that I'm evaluating the removal effectiveness out of 10 instead of out of 5 because I'm weighting it more because it has more influence on the overall results. Just trust me, I'm a data analyst by day. Now let's see how well Orly One Night Stand removes after 24 hours. But hold on just a second, before anyone yells at me, I need to remind you that you should be using an orange stick slash wooden cuticle pusher to remove your peel off base coats and not the metal tool that you see me using. Yes, I'm a hypocrite, but you know, just ignore me and do as I say and not as I do. And how is this even possible? The shit is still wet. Look at it, it's like white and wet. 
Same goes for the glitter now. I don't know what's happening. It's as if this peel off base coat is creating a moist environment in which your nail stays wet for 24 hours. That can't be good and it will probably cause bacteria to breed. Orly, you truly are a slut, aren't you? Let's try our luck with NYC New York Color Strip Me Off Base Coat. What is with cosmetics companies and all these sexual innuendos? It's clearly another glue-based base coat. I hate glue. Have I mentioned I hate glue? The application on this one is way worse than Orly's actually. The formula is a lot thicker and the brush seems really stiff and crooked. And if you look up close, there's tiny little bumps coming out of this glue. Maybe it's little insects that were breeding on the glue in the bottle, I don't know. Basically it applied like crap so it gets a 2 out of 5. Oh, and it dried like crap too. After waiting 7 minutes it had this like weird little groove in it. I don't know what that is. But thank god for multi-chrome nail polish to put me in a better mood. This one changes from pink to gold. I'm sorry I can't stop it with the porn. I just love it so much and it gets me in a good mood if you know what I mean. Not that I'm gonna let it bias my results. Don't you worry. I'm a true scientist. Strangely enough, no I application issues with this guy. Maybe a tiny bit bumpy, but whatever. Mmm, what a beautiful glittery green, which would be perfect for your Christmas stocking. Go run quick, tell your crush. And as you kiss them under the mistletoe, tell them that the link is below. Subliminal advertising, yes. And now for removal after a day, this really sucks. <laughs> and this is an example of why you shouldn't be using a metal tool, because you're gonna end up hacking away at your nail like I'm forced to do right now. So yeah, this is something you definitely do not want from a peel off base coat, which is when you have to pick it off in tiny pieces. Again, defeats the purpose of a peel off base coat because we're not really peeling it off, are we? Oh my god, my nails are so damaged right now. My nails are hating me. Like, this one seemed to peel off a little better, but it does get stuck quite a bit at the end, but I didn't see as much damage. Overall, it performed at about half of my expectations, so it gets a 5 out of 10. Here's Sally Hansen's big peel off base coat. I don't know why they call it big. Is that because this bottle is bigger than one of their other different 800 styles of bottles? Sally Hansen was actually last or one of the latest to the peel off game. They were like, oh shit, we should probably jump on this train now. Yes, yes we should. And let's make a glue based product because that's what everyone else is doing and we don't have time to think of something new. Excuse me while I apply some nail oil to my very parched dry nails. I think this is like day three of these experiments and I'm thirsty. Sally Hansen application seems like glue and oops, I got a little fluffy in there. Could it be a menchie hair? Yeah, probably. I'll just push that out. Yeah, no one will notice that. It's fine, it's fine. I should probably mention that for this peel off base coat and all the other ones I'm using in this whole video, I'm only applying one coat. I mean, maybe it's like a little thick coat and I'm doing a couple strokes as you can see here, but I'm not letting it dry and then adding a second coat ever. I Peel off base coat should work with just one coat. And if it doesn't work, then I'ma throw you in the garbage. Sally, like most of the other glue products, took forever to dry. This one was seven minutes and it still wasn't completely dry. You can still see some of the glue is still white. So it gets a two out of five because I'm really impatient. I'm using a purple to blue fun lacquer multi-chrome, but it only looks blue in this light angle. How boring. And for the glitter nail, I'm using a classic silver hollow glitter. This one's by Starly. In my opinion, everyone needs a silver hollow hollow glitter in their collection. It's pretty much a mandatory thing. And now Sally, how do you peel? Oof, this does not seem like a fun trip. No, oh, not at all. This one is very hard and rigid, and it seems like it's like cracking underneath as I'm peeling it up, which makes it not easy to remove in one solid piece. Instead, I get all these little pieces that I kind of had to scrape up, and I'm trying to be very careful not to stab myself in the nail. Now, surprisingly, the glitter did remove a lot better, and I think that's partly because the glitter itself is a lot thicker, so it bonds together better, so it kind of sticks together when you go to push it or peel it off. But overall, I give it a 6 out of 10 because I really didn't like how much I had to fight with it on the multi-chrome one and almost risk damaging my nail. 
All right, let's try OPI glitter off slash natural nail base coat. I was really confused when I first bought this. I'm like, do I want glitter off or do I want natural nail base coat? They're not the same thing, right? Are they the same thing? I don't know. And big surprise, it's glue based, but I'm pretty sure OPI was one of the first nail polish companies to actually take kids glue and then put it in a nail polish bottle and sell it for nails. So that's kind of original, I guess. I did used to use OPI glitter off well before I found my current favorite base coat. You'll see soon which one that is because I really like how it applies. Compared to all the other glue based ones I've tried in this video, the OPI glitter off applies much nicer. I don't know, like they diluted the glue with something, like it's not sticky. Well, it is sticky. If you tried to stick your finger in it, it would be sticky like most glue, but it glides on really nice and smooth like you can see in the video. Therefore, I give it a 4 out of 5 for application. Drying time was 4 to 5 minutes, which was a lot better than all the other glue based products I tried. I think that has something to do with whatever they did to dilute the formula. Ah, oh, it's turquoise multi-chrome to purple multi-chrome. How could I not show you this brush porn? Like really, give me a break. I don't have any issues with lumpiness from the glue because it went on quite smooth. And look at this baby lavender, is that a color name? Hollow Glitter by Starly, it's in the same collection that Menchie's in. Let's see how it performs an entire day later. And yep, that's looking pretty good to me. Yeah, this is the best glue based peel off base coat that I've experienced thus far. I know this because I've also used it many times before. It definitely peels off better than any other glue based base coat. Coat, Black. peel off face coat, I can't speak anymore. There are too many words that start with the same letter in this video. I struggled a little with the glitter removal on the tip of the nail, but overall it did mostly come off in one piece. But I've got a little bit of dryness as you can see that I'm scratching away that I should not be scratching away. But this is a drawback of using a glue based peel off base coat. I find they really dry out your nail. Overall it does get a 7 out of 10 though because it did its job much better than all the other glue based peel off base coats. Let's try Simply Peel as a base coat, cause why not? You only live once. This is a liquid latex product, and you've probably seen me use it so many times when I do my messy gradients because it's super easy to clean up. But I figured let's try it as a peel off base coat because if it can remove nail polish off skin, then why can't it remove nail polish off your nails? So this is very difficult to apply to say the least. If you've ever worked with liquid latex in any capacity, then you know that it is not easy to spray spread around. For example, if I do one stroke of liquid latex and then I do another stroke over top, you definitely risk peeling off the latex that you just put underneath two seconds ago. So you have to work really quickly and carefully with this stuff. That and the brush is quite wide so I ended up getting it around my cuticles. That's probably because Simply Peel is so used to being on my cuticles that she wanted to get up in there. So sorry Simply Peel, for application you get a one because well, to be honest, you're really not meant to be applied like this. Drying time you get a 5 though because liquid latex dries super fast that and she's sparkly so obviously she got a bonus point. Partly because she has glitter already in her though and because she's made of liquid latex obviously this isn't going to be the best result when it comes to putting a multi-chrome color on your nails. You're gonna see all the bumps so I do not recommend using Simply Peel as a base coat for any nail polish that's creme or multi-chrome or something where you would see tiny bumps. However, there's no issues with using her under a glitter nail polish because you won't see all the bumps because we're piling on pounds of glitter over top of the bumpy latex. Now because of how quickly and easily liquid latex comes off, I was half expecting to find my nails popped off like in my pillow and in my bed sheets, but I didn't. And so the next day I went to peel it off and you can see it's a lot harder than I was expecting. It appears like the latex dried and separated from the nail polish itself. So I have two separate coats of stuff going on here. They clearly did not bond together. And that just makes for a really weird removal process because clearly the latex had a mind of its own. For the glitter, the same thing happened. You can see that the latex completely separated from the glitter, but it still came off all in one piece, probably because the glitter was so thick it bonded together to itself. So I'm giving Simply Peel a 4 out of 10 for this removal because it just really isn't what she's meant for. Simply Peel, you should stick to your day job and go back to protecting the skin from gradients. 
Now let's try this UNT peel off base coat and if you've watched any of my videos before then you will know that I use it all the time. Spoiler alert, this is the winner. But let's show you why because that's way more interesting for me to actually prove it to you with your eyes. This is clearly not glue. First of all, it's clear and it doesn't look like glue. Second of all, it does not smell like glue. Third of all, I bought two bottles of it because I love it so much and hate glue so much. And I mean, I lied, I bought three bottles of it. I just used one up because I'm so addicted to it. And here's more proof that it's not like glue because it applies clear and effortlessly like a normal base coat. Wow, for once, it's great that a base coat actually applies like a base coat. She gets a five out of five for application because that application was flawless like Queen Bay. And bam, another full score for drying time because she only took about two to three minutes to dry, which is what I would expect from a normal base coat. I'm applying another multi-chrome and I've been at this so long I think I forgot how to paint my nails all together. And clearly you can see this is the perfect base coat for a multi-chrome because it doesn't show any bumps whatsoever. Alright, the true test 24 hours later like a semi-normal person. <laughs> I'm funny when I pretend to be one. And wow, oh my god, can I get a big holy shit from the crowd please. Oh my god, oh my god, look at that, it's f***ing beautiful, it's a beautiful thing! You should be even more on the edge of your seat than Canadian boys at a hockey game right now. Perfect, 10 out of 10, girl, you perf, girl, yeah, you perf. Ah, oh, shit, just to bring everyone's mood down, we gotta use more glue, and this time it's actual glue. AKA Elmer's, AKA PVA, AKA school glue, number one teacher's brand apparently, I don't know. So in my peel off stuff around the nail games thing, I did mix glue with water, and then everyone yelled at me, so I'm not gonna do that, don't worry. Just for you, I'm gonna stick the brush I had used previously in my homemade glue into this dangerous looking hole of the actual glue bottle. You see the risks I take for you, you see the glue monster could shoot out at me at any second. So again, this is 100% straight up glue. And of course, it applies like shit. Either that, or I'm applying semen on my nails. It's so gobby, and when you try and put on multiple coats, it kind of sticks to itself, and then it peels, and there's little string things off the nail, and bleh, I can't touch it or look at it anymore. Do you like the way I spread like gum or nah, or nah? You can stroke my nail until you drip and cut. Never mind, never mind. And application evidently gets a one out of five because it's garbage. This is about seven minutes in and it won't dry and I'm so annoyed right now. And what the hell are you looking at, you cocky motherfucking cow? And a total of 10 minutes later, my nail is finally dry. And in that time, I could have watched a Superwoman YouTube video, but I mean, I did watch a YouTube Superwoman video, but that's not the point. Now let's see how glue perform. <laughs> glue perform, you get it, you get it? Actually, not so bad. Wow, would you look at that. The glue clearly took some steroids or something. I don't know, I mean, I I guess glue just needs a really, really, really long time to dry to actually do anything good. My nail is still very dry after this though, even though I have a lot of cuticle oil on. And finally, the last one we're gonna test is Yellow Stopper, which is sold at Sally's and places like that. And I chose it because I've seen a few nail artists or nail people rather on Instagram saying that they use Yellow Stopper all the time as a peel off base coat, even though that's not what it's supposed to be used for. It's supposed to be used to stop yellow nails. But why would you wanna stop yellow nails? Like it's inevitable, okay? Just relax and accept it. Embrace the yellow. Be who you truly are and don't worry about what other people think of the color of your nails. In fact, I'm pretty sure this base coat can't stop yellow nails. And instead what it's doing is using a purple tinted base to make your nails appear less yellow. It does apply like a normal base coat though, maybe a little bit sticky, but it still gets a 5 out of 5. It took around four minutes to dry, which was a little bit longer than the UNT peel off face coat, but I think that's because this formula is a little bit thicker. And then I painted my nails for the millionth time. Let's see if Yellow Stopper can actually peel off. It looks like you're kind of peeling off, but you aren't sticking together in one full piece, and I am having a struggle to actually peel you off. Like, it feels like I might accidentally peel up my nail, and that's not a good feeling. You want it to slide off relatively easy without feeling like you're stressing out your nail or pulling on it too much. Yellow Stopper clearly has some separation anxiety with my nail. Now get off me. 
Same thing goes for the multi-chrome. I really feel like I have to push really hard and it kind of hurts because I feel like my nail is bending as I'm pushing it. You shouldn't have to fight that hard to peel off a peel off face coat. Not that this is one, but you get the point. And can we just talk about how I'm pretty sure that that ripped up a little piece of my nail right there? Yeah, not cool, not cool, yo, stopper. I give you a five out of 10 because A, you didn't peel off that well and B, you make my nails not feel safe. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the results because I don't know about you, I'm exhausted and just want to know why the winner was the winner. Don't forget to watch my other video on peel off base coats for swatchers so you can see why they got those scores in that column. Clearly, Unt wins because the final score bar is far larger than all the other score bars. I bet you knew that without me even telling you, didn't you? Look at you, you're a master statistician now. And now that I've done all these experiments for you, what am I gonna do with these casualties? Oh yeah, you know what's coming up next. If you know me, then you know I'm a little crazy and I'm gonna put them all in a Ziploc bag and keep them forever. As I toss them in one by one, I feel a little bit more accomplished that my nail peely collection is growing. Look at all these memories. Good times and bad. That time I did Russian witchcraft. That time we couldn't decide if the wave was red or blue. That time I did a neon tribal thing that looked like a bug. Ooh, glitter, I love those ones. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, that I'm probably so crazy I'm one of those people who wear cat pajamas to bed. Oh, I wasn't supposed to show you that. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go pet my cats now and smell my bag of nail peelies. Bye! <laughs>